going to show you a tip that will solve a problem that we all have when we're cross-cutting. We've, I've marked my board here, um, and when I put it up against the saw and try to align it, there is a good long space between the saw and my mark. Uh, now I could eyeball this and hope for the best, or I could do what a lot of you do, and that is cut wide of the line and then sort of creep up on it, or I could take an engineer square here and a scrap of wood that is the same thickness as the board I'm cutting and put the engineer square right on the saw, on top of the scrap. Now, I'm pressing the engineer square, the base of it, so that it is up against the teeth of the saw. I have to contact at least two of the teeth. In this case, since it's a hollow ground planer blade, two of the teeth that are set in the same direction. I'm going to tap. Now, I'm having a little trouble there. There we go. I've now got the line aligned with the square, which is aligned with the teeth. Okay, let me take the square off. Take the scrap off. Put the uh, saw guard down. Turn this on. And there we go. I split the line. I'm Nick Angler, director of the Shopsmith National Woodworking Academy. And if you'd like to see more tips like this, come to shopsmithacademy.com. Thanks. At Shopsmith's website, you'll find dozens of free videos on all kinds of woodworking projects, from preparing lumber to applying a finish. Twice a month, we webcast a two-hour SAWDA session where you can ask questions and get woodworking help right over your computer. To find out more, come visit us at shopsmith.com.